Hey YouTube, Toots back again with another gifts, pickups, and uh, tales from the booter. Um, weather not been too bad this week. A um, little bit hit and miss, I think. I was about, wasn't sure if it's going to be on, but it was. Um, did all right. But what time is it? It's about eleven o'clock or something. Half eleven. I'm going out to a party, so I'm allowed to have one early. Okay, so a um, couple of gifts from a couple of excellent YouTubers uh, who need probably little to no introduction. Uh, firstly, um, from a good friend Woodlin, Carl, he sent me two uh, mass system manuals that I needed uh, from his own games that he's got, which is absolutely bloody awesome. I mean, I can't thank the guy enough because for me it would mean probably, you know, I have to buy the game again essentially. Um, so, I say. Can't thank him enough. So it's heavyweight champ, and one that's really bloody hard to get hold of is the Golden Axe Warrior. So, like I say, I'll link the guys who was then mentioned down below. But Carl, absolutely awesome, mate. Really, really appreciate that because that does help me out. You, can, you have no idea. Uh, so I'll pop them there, ready to be uh, filed. Um, the next guy, um, he's been on YouTube. About th three or four weeks, I think. Awesome guy. You know, really down to earth, nice chat. Um, like I say, not long started doing videos. He's got, I'm pretty sure I remember seeing one of them before he came in front of the camera, and he's got a pretty impressive N64 collection. Um, I've mentioned him before because he very kindly sent me some uh, an absolute, you know, stunning uh, freebie. So, uh, you know, as is, I think we all know this in the, in the, in the YouTube community, if, if someone gifts you something, there's this sort of inner guilt, um, you know, and I think a lot of people have uh, sort of felt the pang of guilt. Um, yeah, so you feel really obliged to sort of try and work out, oh, I can't take this. Oh, you know, I think uh, Cajonas Delaro, Darren, he mentioned someone, he's got to, he's got to, you've got to stay ahead of them, just to make yourself feel better. Um, so, yeah, I'd sent... Um, this other chap, a few bits and bobs, not because you know I felt like I owed him, but it, it's it's you know you scratch my back, I'll scratch yours, and that's you know I, I like to live my life like that. You know, if someone helps me out, great, I'll help them out, and you know that's that's the way like I say I tend to tend to operate. Um, so he sent me this game because to be fair, I mean I weren't never going to pay much than a quid for it because um, a few people sort of said, oh I've got it, and by the time you've had postage in it, it's just not worth it. But it's very kindly located in, in cracking condition, can't fault it, um, so it, it just stops me buying the fucking wrong game again, which I, I seemingly keep doing and I don't understand why. Um, but it's Return of the King on the PlayStation 2, so I've now got all the, well I think I've got them all anyway, and yeah, I mean beautifully packaged. So Carl, two Carls, the tale of two Carls, hey I might use that, that might be the title of the, of the video, that might give it away though. The tale of two Carls, so yeah, awesome. Uh, I'm pretty sure both cars are going to replay, guys. So, like I say, I'll link them down below. Check them out. I mean, Woodland, you probably everyone knows him. Even Nan knows Woodland. Um, but yeah, go and go and uh, go and sub because uh, I think Carl's channel, uh, Ocarina Fella. That's it. I can't remember the number. I think he, 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 he you know, his uh, N64 collection is going might be pretty impressive. His Pokemon stuff's vast. Mm. Okay, there's something I was going to say. Okay, it'll come to me. Right, um, pickups. Pickups from Charity Shop. Didn't have my list. This is in excellent condition. Uh, I've got this on the GameCube. And it's pretty, pretty. I quite liked it actually. I put it on just to test it and I ended up playing it for about an hour. Um, I don't think. I don't think I've got it because this is the trouble when you have these multi format games, I always forget which one I've got it on. But it's Dakar 2 on the Xbox. Um, so when I've got back and checked my list, it's not on my list. Uh, even yeah, just in case it's Paris Dakar 2. Um, but I don't think I've got it. Because obviously my list won't have the ones that I've got, I've got, it's just the ones that I need. So yeah, if anyone's interested in that, give me a shout. Um, like I say, it might end up being um, well, I don't need it because if it's not on my list and I've got it already. Um, 
Mm. That's what I was going to say. I knew there was something. Can you all stop making videos just for about a week so I can catch up? Because my fucking to watch list is, I don't know if anyone else is like this, I'm about fucking two weeks behind. I mean, Jesus. And it seems to be everyone. I'm making short videos and everyone else is now making fucking how long? I think Steve Benway's last, last Friday talk is two hours long. I'm only halfway through that. So everyone, please, stop making videos. It's too much. I can't keep, I can't, I can't keep up. Fucking hell. I've got less time now than I did was play Warcraft. Um, right. Next up. Charity shop again. Um, couple of games here. All a pound each. Um, there was one or two on. I didn't even bother really to check them uh, inside, but like the discs. I see them or grabbed them and thought, in case they change their mind, because this the shop that I go to, they have like about two people on, and one person will say this price, and someone will stick their oar in, and, and it ends up getting fucking changed. So, when she said a quid, I just went, right, I'll take them, bang, that was it. Um, so, I managed to grab me, one of these I've got, but I wasn't sure, but ends up being this is a better copy anyway because it's got instructions. So Dragon Ball Z Budokai 3. So that's like all complete. So I've got a copy of that, my lot of the copy, but it hasn't got the, the manual. I think it's Budokai Tenchai 3 that I needed, and I wasn't sure, and I thought for a pound, it's in quality condition, so I thought, fuck it, I'll risk it. Don't risk it. The other one is Need for Speed Pro Street. Uh, I got this one and again. This is, I mean, this is weird. This is uh, even one of these newer PlayStation cases. But it's even in like even the manuals in like a little jiffy thing. So I don't know if it was the same person that's donated these or what. But wow, looked after. Right, these lot. When I seen them, I was like, right, I'm definitely having them. And fucking sods law on one of them, I'll tell you. Mm. For a couple of cube games, nothing amazing, nothing to blow your mind, but for a pound each, I thought I'm having these. So, the first one is Aggressive Inline, no manual, which is a bit of a pisser, but um, to be honest, it's, it's one of these games I don't really see knocking about much, you know, you always tend to see the same games over and over. Um, the other one, which again is missing the manual, always missing the manuals now, so it really pissed me off, is Shadow the Hedgehog. That's missing the manual. And then one that I thought, fine, I might get a copy because I'm pretty sure mine's missing the fucking manual. And it's another copy of Sonic Adventure Battle 2. Player's choice. It's got the thingy card in it. So I've got another copy of that with just the disc as well. Um, Sonic Adventure Battle 2. Let me just have a quick look. This is my. Yeah, see, that's my copy, look. Black label. So this is that. That one I picked up there, and the black label one still still haven't got a manual for it. It's like fucking cursed, the cursed game that I cannot seem to fucking get a manual for. Um, so, oh yeah, the, the uh, four meg memory card. Again, that, that, that down's a quid. I was a bit whatever, but I thought fuck it, I'm not going to argue. Um, Raymond there. I wonder if we put a different game on. Uh, no, I believe I can't remember. Right. Pickups, as in like from a shop ish, uh, from a guy who sells them in store. Um, I've got these. Well, I'd seen these before. I've seen these about a week or so ago. So I'm getting rid of the fucking sticky bits of crap all over them. Which everyone seemingly seems to think is a fucking good idea to do. Um, I looked at these, one of these games I've seen in game, because uh, they're doing that like two for a tenner and two for 20 quid and stuff like that. And it was sat in the two for 20 quid slot, I think it was at £7.50. I said to the guys in there, like, I said, no, I said, oh, is that in like two for tenner? And they couldn't work it out, and I was like, oh, fuck that, can't bother. And then one of the other ones, I think I'd mentioned uh, a couple of weeks back that I was looking at. Uh, yeah, it's just because it's it, it's a, a certain type of game. Uh, I think someone said it was pretty good actually. So I've seen these two. Um, I sort of asked him what's his best price. So I've got the pair of these for a tenner, which I think's pretty good actually, um, considering one of them he had, he had marked up as eight quid. So the one that was eight quid, you, you'll see the sticker anyway. Um, again, it's just a light gun game, 
So, you know, it might it might be a pile of shit, I don't know. But it's somewhat different, isn't it, to have a play. And it's the Gunblade New York uh, and the LA Machine Guns Arcade Hits Pack. So as you can see, the guy wanted eight quid for that one. Yeah, in, in all the bits are there. So yeah, there's that one there. Then the one he had down as a fiver, <coughs> which I've seen before, like I say in game, they wanted 750 for it and stuff. I think it's worth a fiver. Um, but I remember the one in game, the, the you know like when the sleeve falls down the bottom and all the fucking bottom of the um, insert gets all scuffed and shitty. It was like that. Like a fucking dogged at it. Uh, but it's anyway, it's SNK Arcade Classics Volume 1. So he wanted a fiver for that. So I've got the pair of them for a five, five, ten quid for the pair, which I think is pretty good. Um, so, yeah, I mean, it's all, like I say, wonderful condition. So I don't know if there's a volume two, but I mean, this has got, I don't know if anyone's, anyone knows. So we've got Out of Fighting, Baseball, Baseball Stars 2, Burning Fight, Fatal Fury, King of Monsters, Last Resort, Magician Lord, Metal Slug, Neo Turf, Samurai Shodan, so Goku, Shock Troopers, Psychics Free, King of Fighters 94, Top Hunter, and World Heroes. So, and you can, you know, it's 60 hertz, so it's all, you know, I mean, it might be, it's obviously clearly emulated, but there you go, have a butchers like that, we'll have a slug of beer. Mm. Yeah, quite, quite a good cover, actually, as well, I quite like the cover. Just getting really into the, into the Wii game. Yeah, really, because it's just playing on the Wii U. So it's just easy and it's just convenient. Um, so, yeah. Um, that is it for pickups out in the wild. So, the rest is car boot now. So, yeah, like I say, um, weather wise, it, I mean, it's fucking roasted now, but it will be in here anyway. Um, weather wise, it was a bit touch and go, I think. I think we had hail yesterday. Fucking nuts, bizarre. Uh, but it was on, so a bit chilly, I must admit. Yeah, three year old, uh, the old brass monkeys a little bit. Um, two slugs were there, sliming about sticking reds in car windows. I just don't get that. I mean, I, you know, I know everyone wants a bargain and stuff, but I mean, literally, cars are pulling up, and I've seen them one or two times. I don't, I don't like fucking. Like David Bellamy, like here we see the lesser spotted fucking reseller in action. See how he manoeuvres his big gawping neck into the car window. You know, I mean, if you're selling something and you pull your car up, you don't want some fucking bunt sticking your head in the window straight away. It's just, I don't know. I mean, yeah, well, I ask people as they're setting up, you know, when it's convenient. Excuse me, I don't suppose you've got any uh, old video games, whatever. You know, that's about as much as I do. I don't literally f fucking straight there. It, it just, I don't know. I don't know. I just think it's bad form, but what do I know? You know, I mean, I, I think there's some people that sort of, I don't know if they know some resellers or whatever, but they kind of justify it, sort of saying, oh, it's them, they're saying they make a living. Well, fuck off. Go and get a fucking proper job, man. Seriously. Just my fucking head in. It's just a hobby. You know, if, if your fucking life depends on you going to a car boot sale, then. I think you've fucking fucked your life up, personally, but that's... I don't get into that again, because it just makes my fucking piss boil. <sighs> anyway, car boot. It was on. It was alright. It was cold. Uh, Size-wise, yeah, not too bad. Out of the do, pretty good on a few bits, I must admit. Mm. To be honest, actually, I wanted to say one thing. Um... I did see one example where I thought, thank God, some people, not, not that they're cotton and on, but they're not willing to be, you know, um, manipulated. There's a lady there, she had an old Mega Drive. It only had like Sonic 1 and 2 and uh, a Genesis copy of it, Echo Dolphin. And she wanted 10 quid. I mean, if I wanted a Mega Drive and I needed that game, that's probably a pretty good deal, yeah? I mean, I, I wasn't there. One of the other chaps I know was looking at it. Um, and I just sort of said to him, look, because he, he buys little bits and bobs. I just sort of said, look, be mindful. Obviously, Echo won't work with that console unless it's modded, which it wasn't. Um, because I've seen the lizard had asked before, and he wanted he wanted to give, a, I think it was eight quid for it or something like that, or five or something. He said, oh, I'll have a think about it. So, if you if you wanted it for yourself, eight quid, 
for that setup is pretty good. So, you know what I mean? They're not buying them because they're collecting them, they're buying them to sell them on. Um, so, like I say, the other chap I know was looking at it. And I said the same thing to him, I said, yeah, because I just sort of said he'd asked and he got it for eight quid and that. Um, but if I say, if you needed it and you wanted it for your collection, that's a pretty good price. Um, but yeah, so it's, it's, in that respect, it's kind of like a good thing that the price has gone up a little bit. Uh, there's another example where a gear had a pink uh, PS2, like the Playboy one, the slim one. And he wanted to pay like 10 quid and she was like, no, it was 40 quid, which is way too expensive for a car boot, I must admit. By the time I'd sort of gone round and it, towards the end, she'd got it down to 25, but I don't, I don't need, you know, if it was a five, I'd have it because it's just one to add to the collection, but he's just looking for a markup. So people are kind of, you know, as a collector, it's a good price, but as a reseller, it's too much because that's... That's what they're all about. Anyway, what the fuck am I waffling about? Pickups from the car boot. Right, first store. Couldn't believe it when I seen these. Uh, it's not something that I collect for per se, but I seen them and I thought, oh, I've got to grab me one of these. Well, I've got to grab me these, depending on the price. Um, I think there's a couple of people on here that I know that are into these. One of them works the other one I haven't got the right batteries <clears throat> to get to work so I don't know yet but to be fair to it it's in pretty good condition given its age so I mean you know fucking famous last words I don't see any reason why it won't work but no my luck it, it doesn't these are a pound each um, so the one that does work and I've been I've, I've played it and it's pretty good actually I think Ben's got this Shemuso uh, and it is the Tomitronic Shark Attack 3D now, you know, us of a certain age all remember these. Uh, I never had any. We had no fucking money. I've said that a million times before, but we had no fucking money. A couple of my mates in the street had one or two of them. Um, I don't really remember playing this one. I remember there's a driving game one. I think one of them had the driving game one. Uh, I can't remember any others. But yeah, a quid, it works. I say, it's not something I collect for, so I, it might it might go on the old flea of the bay at some point, if, unless someone else is interested in it. Got the old, uh, the old Duba. Uh, yeah, it's, it's quite. Yeah, it's just weird playing it again, actually. So that was a quid. And then the other one that I can't get to work yet because I've got to get the right batteries. Um, this one I'm, I'm, I may be inclined to keep because I do remember playing this and the sort of the other games of this ilk. And it's Caveman. There we go, Caveman. So like I say, it's in. You know, I mean, even like the old, uh, he says, the battery is, the battery compartment, you see that, it's absolutely spotless. So I don't know, I've tried putting an AC adapter in it, but I think it's got a weird polarity and stuff. So I, it's one of them weird ones, that if, unless you can match it, it's something like seven and a half volts and 200 milliamps. Um, but yeah, for a quid, I mean, even if I have to pop it open and do a bit of soldering to get it working, um, Pretty good, well I think anyway. I say it's not, they're not everyone's cup of tea, especially like I say again, us, of a certain, us people of a certain age um, remember them. Fresh beer, right? Um, tabletop games. I've done them, done the electronic ones. But while I'm up, we'll change the game. So, um, where do I get to next? Um, yeah, it's a bit random. It's a bit random today. Bits, just odd bits on each person's stall. Um, I've got to sort these into order now. What I did it, what I did it, how I bought them. Mm. Otherwise, I'm going to get really confused. Uh, I bought that one with. Yeah, I made another fuck up with one of the games again. <laughs> I keep doing this. I fucking. Seriously, need to sort sort myself out. Um, no, that was all that, that. That was that. That was that. I should have done this before, shouldn't I? Really, that was that. That was that. Right. Okay. Couple of plushes. I love me plushes. You know that. So I picked this guy up. Seen him on the table. 
Twenty a pound for it. I tried to get fifty p. She wouldn't budge. I thought about for a quid. I'm having it. Um, it's actually slightly different to the one I've got, but it is Luigi. Um, so mine, I've got a couple of these. Is he? They've definitely revised it because he looks sort of slightly different. No, you can tell. He's got more of a tan. He's been he's, he's been he's been sunning himself. Um, and where's the other one? Oh, I can't find him. There he's up there. So I've got. Hang on, just bear with me. And then the other one is even. It's different again. So we've got this one. Look. So he's got darker sideburn. So and his top. You know, his dungarees are a different colour. It's weird. I mean, he's official and all that. So yeah, I thought that was odd. Um, I think it's a bit more worrying that I could actually distinguish a difference. Like, oh, I haven't seen that. It's like the fucking variants of fucking plushes. I mean, Jesus Christ. I don't know if a variance of games. I'll say for a quid. I'll have him. Mm. I don't know if this has got an intro. Um, track mode. And then, this little chap. Again, I've got one of these. But it's slightly different. When I looked at the label, I thought it might be a knockoff, but it looks like it's come from overseas and it's a little toadstool. Now, again, I'm a sad bastard. I thought he looks different to the one I've got, and what it is, it's a little coat. And when I looked at the tag, the tag says design, manufactured, and distributed in Australia and New Zealand by Goldie Marketing Australia. So this is like an Australian version of toad because the one over here, the little toady over here, you see. He's got like a cloth top, whereas this is like a more, uh, more, um, what's you call it? Um, I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about. It's not as flexible. It's more rigid. That's the word. Um, so yeah, another, <laughs> another one to collection. But it's, it's always, it's, it's, from, it's from down under, mate. Fucking hell, get the fucking tip. That's what well, that's caught me, you twat. I need to lay off the beer and the sun. I've got sunstroke already, you see. Going to the car booth for you lot. Fucking nuts. Right. One pound Xbox 360 game. Thought, I haven't got it. I remember playing the original on the Xbox. The, the lad wanted a quid, I was like, yeah, I'll take it. We've got Fable 2. See, like I say, it, it, you know, and it's going to happen, and we know that. A lot more Wii games, a lot more 360 games. At what you would class for a car boot, reasonable price, you know. And off the back of that, a Wii game for a pound. Uh, Medal of Honor Heroes 2. All complete, all there. So, it ends up being, you know, I suppose it's not current gen, last gen, or however you word it, you know, 360 and Wii. Wii's technically last gen. They're cheaper than fucking the old stuff now. Okay. Um, who was it? Chap and his missus had a couple of games on the store. Um, DS games. Usual like high school musical and that crap. Seeing this one I thought, I remember seeing this somewhere. I can't remember if it was in Retro Gamer. Uh, but, or was it... Might have been Woodlin, because he's fucking DS mad. Uh, and I remember him saying it's, it's a pretty good game. Got it for two quid, and it is Rhythm Paradise. And it's obviously, as the name suggests, a rhythm game. It's all, all there, all complete. So that's pretty cool. Um, sticking, yeah, sticking with DS. This is kind of jumping, this is, they're not. They were slightly in order, but I thought, fuck it, I'll just do it this way. Got these two games for seven quid. Yeah, seven quid. He wanted four pound each. So I tried to get it for six. And then he quote, then he did the fucking eBay thing. And I was like, fuck that. Is it, is it like a guy that I've seen before? Um, I think he goes to auctions. So he had like loads of like old video, I mean like proper old videos, you know, like the old horror ones, which are probably are pretty collectible. Uh, and other odds and shit and like antique crap. But yeah, from time to time, I've picked a few Mega Drive games up off him. So, you know, when I spoke to him before, he said he'd get some from auctions. 
So I don't know where he's got these from. He reckoned he bought them. His, his lad was there. He was probably about late 20s, early 30s. So his old man did the eBay thing. I went, oh, like I say, I sort of know him a little bit. I went, oh, not the eBay. And even his lad went, oh, that's it. He's played the eBay card. I said, yeah, you're right. And I went, right, well, anyway, I can tell you for a fact that one of these games is in the two for ten quid in game game stage. And his lad went, yeah, I've seen it. So, uh, it swings and roundabouts. I've got a couple of quid off. One of the games that I kind of wanted, the other one I've seen before, um, I can't remember what it goes for. Some UDS gurus out there will, 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 will be able to tell me. Um, so for like £3.50, this is not a bad deal I don't think. I've got two RPGs. So the first one, which again I don't think is, I can't remember which one it is, there's two of these. One of them is not highly saw, you know, thought of, it might be both of them, I can't remember. But I've got the Phantom Hourglass and DS. And the beauty of this one is it's still got the, um, the points. And it's not in there because my fucking daughter's nicked it and she's playing it. Um, so yeah, anyone let me know if, I'm pretty sure one of them's better than the other, I can't remember, or they're both crap. And either one, like I said, I've seen before, I don't really know a great deal about it, um, I can't, I can't remember price-wise what I'd seen it for in Game Station, but it's Lost Magic. And again, it's all complete, this, this one is in here. Um, a, a weird collaboration from uh, Ubisoft and Tato. I've not seen that before. So yeah, £3.50 each. Right, this is where I made a cock up again. There's one of these games that I knew what I needed and I always forget which one it is. So I've seen this one there, they had another, there's a um, youngish girl, well, probably young to me, about, probably about 25. I had a few PS2 games, had a couple of PS1 games, not many. One of them I thought, oh damn, I don't know if I've got that. Um, it's around a pound each. So I've got these two for 150. Um, <laughs> I don't, I'm, I have, I've got this fucking PS2 game. So it's Grand Theft Auto Liber Liberty City Stories. I've got it. Now, the other kicker, when I want to check mine, is it comes with a map, and this one doesn't have the map. So I need Vice City Stories. Which I think is the port from the PSP. So, yeah, if anyone's interested in that, let me know. There's no map though, um, which is a bit of a wounder. I need a PS1 game, which I don't know if I've got, to be honest. I couldn't remember, but I thought, and I got it for 50p technically. It's Rascal on the PS1. It's all there, all, all the manual and everything else. It's, it's in really good nick actually, so I thought, well, for 50p, I'll take it for the case, there's nothing else. So that was that. Excuse me. I'll just see if I can see it, but oh, bollocks with it. Right. This is interesting actually. And I'm pretty sure the guy must have told him to, to fucking wait or do one. Uh, remember I told you about the two lizards sticking red in the car window? Well I see them obviously do this to this particular seller um, and obviously then, then they, they fucked off so I just thought well obviously he hasn't got anything kind of thing uh, so I moved along did whatever had a mooch about and I came past this stall again and I was like oh there's stuff there so I was maybe maybe he probably said look mate I've just pulled up fuck off and come back later or no because sometimes to be fair to some, some of the people that are selling they just say no because they know that people are going to jump in the boot and I can't blame them from, from that from that side so I went past and I, was, I could see, see a couple of Wii games and stuff and I was like that ah, okay so he had like a, um, a black Wii he wanted 40 quid for that like the Wii resort pack and 40 notes for that and he had a couple of games and a few of the extra little bits that I was interested in well they ended up getting but I didn't even well, I, I, I didn't notice one of them So, what I was after, initially, seeing this. So it's the Zapper, and the game's in there. The Zapper just needs a bit of a clean. Uh, 
don't know if it's important, but they sealed up one end. Oh, so that's the end that's open. So, like I say, it's all there. Now, all there, and the little zapper, the zapper thing is there as well. So, I bought that game last week. So it's just can't kind of boot for you. You fucking, you know, you, you couldn't, you couldn't write it, could you? Um, so I bought that last week. So I asked, so I, I say I wanted that one, and I seen this one last week. But um, the other resellers managed to, to grab this and a couple of other games, which is a bit good about. Again, this is in the two for tenner, I think. Um, it's not very well. Uh, thought of, I know that, I'm not on the Wii anyway, um, but this is pure nostalgia. Pure nostalgia for me. Um, some people may remember it, again, it's old gits. And it's, uh, well, howdy there, Pilgrim, and it's Mad Dog McCree. So I remember with my mate John, we played Mad, Mad Dog McCree and Mad Dog McCree 2. I don't remember playing the third one. Um, but yeah, I mean, in the arcade, just this this was the game. You know, you sort of see the older the older men, really, playing this, and they were pretty good, because obviously it's just about knowing who, who's going to pop up and where. And obviously when you die, the old Undertaker's there picking his nails with a, with a flint and lock knife. And it's quite good. It's just, like I say, pure nostalgia. So I said, how much for them two? And he said, um, ooh... Uh, I want 10 quid and I got him down to 7 that's it, 7 quid I got him to so all I had was, was like 10 pound he had no change I was like oh fucking hell really um, and he, he was one of these guys I just knew weren't going to like keep anything or whatever so I'd, I'd, he had a few of the games that really weren't that interesting and I thought well fuck it I'll chance my arm I said what change have you got he goes well I've got about 2 quid so what if I chuck this game in then <laughs> <laughs> and he was like, oh no, no, that's got to be nine quid. No, no, he said, oh no, 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 I can't do that. I was like, oh fucking hell. And he sort of turned away and looked at me, he goes, that's got to be nine quid. I went, alright then. So I was like, okay, well I'll take that. You know, them two games and, and the Zappa, you know, the Resident Evil game for nine quid. Fucking done, mate. So I paid him, I went to walk away, and then in, the, in one of his bags, I just noticed at the corner of my eye, now it's a bit beat up. Uh, Obviously, he assures me it works, um, but I want it. I'm, well, I'm pretty sure I need to get this to play. Well, ideally to play that game. I, I've sort of seen one in, in Crack Converters a couple of months back, but it's the Wii controller. It is beat up to fuck. It needs scrubbing, cleaning. Uh, the cable's got a couple of looks like a dog's bit it. Um, he wanted about three quid for it. I said, look, mate. I said, look. He goes, oh, it works. I said, yeah, but the cables. Whatever, so I'll give you a quid. So basically, I ended up with we um, what do you call it? Classic controller, twat. We classic controller. Actually, I'll just realise. Really yeah, Call of Duty. So I've got three Zapper games and the Zapper for ten quid. That ain't bad, is it? Um, I say the Resident Evil Dark Side Chronicles I do have, unfortunately, but that's a nice little package. I thought. I say the old um, the old lizard had asked that guy, so I don't know what had happened there. I don't know if, if he just sort of said not interested or what. Mm -hmm. Last last door. This was funny. Um, I don't know what I don't know what had happened. Obviously, these people hadn't set up like straight away um, so they were like in the middle of a row because obviously like I said the resellers what they I've seen him what he does he doesn't if, if I think if he sees me or one of the other guys he goes literally to the new people and doesn't go to the old like the start he doesn't start from the beginning if that makes sense which is probably a tactic that works I don't know I don't really give a shit um, so these people were like in the middle so that they're probably not bothered and it, like I said, I mean, never. I say this to everyone. All this sort of stuff, it, it's pure luck. There's no fucking technique. There's no whatever. It's just luck. It's pure luck. Luck and circumstance. So, literally, I walk past this door. 
the guy pulled out this long box and I just sort of saw PlayStation 1 games. So I just sort of stopped, looked at them, and as he just put them out, he li lifted the lid up and it said 50p a game. And I was like, I'm having them fuckers. But I mean, this is how fucking bad it is. I was looking through the games, I went bam, 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 piled them up. He pulled out some PS2 games, looked at them, and went bam, 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 picked a few up. And then it was like fucking madness. All the fucking lizards fucking descended on me. And I had to literally sort of try and shield them because they were like fucking everywhere. And one of the guys, like I said, I've mentioned him before, he's a nice chap. And he went, fucking hell, you better protect that. He goes, oh, was that your protection method? I said, I like laughed at him. I went, yeah, don't you think? And he was like, yeah, it's fucking stupid. So these the PS1 games were 50p each, PS2 games were a pound. Um, and again, like, like I said to, to, to him after, I said, like, I, I only get the games that, that I need. And he went, oh, you should have bought that. I said, look, not interested in that. You know, I just want to buy the games that I need or that that I think you guys might be after. So, there's a few in here that I know are pretty good when I've seen it. There's one or two that I took a chance on. I thought I don't know, but it, it, I haven't seen them again. It's one of these ones that I haven't seen them, so I'm having it. So PS1, I picked up. I picked this up last week. This has got the uh, the one I picked up. I think it's missing the manual or the insert. Uh, this one's complete, but the case is fucked, so I can have a, a decent copy. And it's another Martian Gothic. So the hinges done one. So my copy, I can see it here. Yeah, see my one is missing the insert, so I now have, well I will have a complete copy of Martian Gothic once I work out which one's got the better, the better bits, disc and stuff. Um, this one I've seen, um, Ryan Shand was on about this game, uh, and I've never seen it, he, was like, oh, he picked up, um, because this is a compilation, he picked up one of the games. Apparently it's quite hard to get on the PlayStation 1, I don't know. But he mentioned, oh, it's dead easy, can you see it all the time on, on this compilation? And I've never seen this compilation before. So again, 50p, gonna get it. And it's the Help compilation. So the game he was on about was Road Rash. It was Road Rash, Broken Sword, and Mist. All there, all... To be honest, I checked the first, when I, like I say, when the guy got his stuff out and it was just me there, I, I looked through a few, you know, a few of the games and they were all there. And then when the rest of them come in, I was like, fuck that, I ain't got time for this. So I just went, I just grabbed them because I thought, you know, you, you can usually tell with people if they're going to look after the games and if they're, you know, a certain of a certain type of person, if that makes sense, that will look after them. So I, the rest of them, to be honest, I didn't even check till I got home. Which some might say is foolish, but you know you ain't got fucking time to think. Um, which sometimes works to my advantage because I think, like I say, some of these fucking resellers they just know the big names, and some of these quirky games they they wouldn't necessarily think look at twice. Um, one game I didn't know about and chanced me arm. Um, I don't know. Again, I don't know anything about it. It looked weird. Um, not seen it before, and it's Baldies. You baldy bastard. So, yeah, that, that like I say, they're all in mint condition. Um, I don't know anything about it, but... There's a song about bald, isn't there? Hey, you, over there, what's it like to have no hair? Is it hot? Is it cold? I don't know, because I'm not bald. Even my kids sing that. Not, not to bald people, obviously. Stop drinking beer. Um, one game picked up rental in a shitty rental case. I think it's all the right parts so. though. Now, bits of it anyway. It's a bit of a wounder. No man, wow. Well, but it is Resident Evil 3 Nemesis. Problem with this being they've put, decided to put, put a shitty fucking sticker. On it. I have got that, so if anyone's interested in, in a copy of that, let me know. Um, Alright, do it this way. Sticking with the Resident Evil theme, we've got uh, the Platinum version of Resident Evil. Again, for 50p, I've got it. 
Uh, if anyone's interested, let me know. Um, I don't know if I've got the director's cut. I oh, know there's a director's cut of that. Right. Let's do it this way. Right, I'm going to jump across now. PS2. These are a pound each. So I think it ends up, all these ones from this guy is about nine quid. Um, I've, I've seen this on the GameCube. Um, I don't think it, it's not rare on the PS2. On the GameCube, it, it's, you know, it's a pretty decent, half decent game in terms of like holding its value. But it's Mystic Heroes. Again, in beautiful condition. Quid. I don't like I say. I know on the on the GameCube, it, it's it's probably about an eight pound game. The only reason I know that because I've seen it in crack converters. I like paying eight pound. Um, one 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 game. Oh, they only they charge with one game. It's two in there. Um, so one game that I don't know. I've never seen. I've never seen these before. Um, the games in them ain't nothing special, but as this in the pack that it's in, it's unusual, and it's the hit collection. So like a box setty type thing, and the, again the games in them are absolutely mint. But it's something I haven't never seen before. So anyone know anything about that? Let me know. Right, getting down to probably some of the better ones now. Right, PlayStation 2, uh, uh, PlayStation 1. Two games I'm sure I have got, I'm going to do. <clears throat> so, I need to check, obviously in terms of quality and stuff, the ones that I've got. So these will be up for trade, although it won't necessarily be these copies, if that makes sense. So, we've got Fear Effect. All complete. All in there. Although the back disc can tend to jump out on that one. And Fear Effect 2, double helix. Retro helix, even, not double helix. Again, all complete, all in very good condition. So, if anyone's interested in, in either of them games, I say not necessarily them copies, but them games, mine up there, I'm pretty sure mine are complete as well, but. You know, there might be some variation in terms of the, the, the covers and stuff like that. Um, right, pick this game up. I'm a bit pissed off because this comes down these fucking stickers again. I don't want people to do this. It really annoys me. Um, again, I'm no PlayStation expert, but this is a game I don't see. So, my motto is, I, I haven't seen it. It looks a bit weird. I'll have it. And for a pound, I was like, yeah, I'm having it. So I've got a copy of Evergrace. Okay. Now that fucking sticker thing there is on the insert. There's a sticker there on the insert, and then some twats put some over the barcode as well. So that sticker at the front there, I think, is gonna have to be steamed off because I tried to sort of tweak it. Yeah, nothing, none of it. Uh, no manual, and it's got a stupid choices video fucking st sticker on it. So. Yeah, it looks like it's multi-language as well. English and Italian, bizarrely. So, quid. Thought, yeah, I'll have it. And the pick of the bunch, the, probably the picks of the day. Uh, well, aside from the sort of little tabletops, which was quite impressive. Um, one of them I knew, I thought, yes, I'm, I'm, I know that's quite hard to get hold of. The other one, I thought, I remember hearing about that. But again, I'm no PlayStation expert, so I thought, 50p, I'll, I'll have it anyway. The one that I knew, and I've heard of, and I've read the books actually, is uh, Terry Pratchett, Terry Pratchett, Terry Pratchett's Discworld Noir. So, it is in wunderbar condition, all there. And then this one, I don't know where I've heard of it, it must have been off someone else's channel. Must have been. Um, and it looks shit. It looks shit, but I know for a fact that it's a quality game. So I've got myself a copy of Vib Ribbon on the PlayStation. Obviously, these bits here, it's just that obviously someone's decided to peel off the PlayStation cases. Fucking no problem, mate. I'll just swap it over for one of the, the shitty PlayStation games I've got. Um, the only, it's got 
Now I don't know if this is important. You guys that know more about this, best tell me. It's got like a map. Hang on, let me show you. Right. There's good things and bad things. Right. Bad thing is it's got another one of these shitty fucking stickers on the disc, which I can live with. The good thing is it's got the manual and it's got like a poster thing as well. So I'm pretty sure there's a poster thing. There's the old manual. So I'm pretty sure that is like complete, you know, in terms of how it's supposed to be. It looks absolutely, I don't know if you can see this. You know, if, if you were to look at this in the shop, you'd think, what the, why are they fucking selling Atari games? But I know it is really highly regarded. So, yeah, that's it. Um, now you can see why I had to fucking guard my territory. It's ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. It just makes going to the car boot not fun. It, it's not enjoyable. Um, but that's me done. If, if anyone's interested in any of the, sort of the, the, the double games, give me a shout. Um, I've got quite a bit sort of double stuff, so I might do a trades video. It won't be today because I'm, like I say, I'm going to a party and stuff. Um, I'll see. I might get too pie eyed and not bother, but I've got to be careful. I've got work tomorrow. So, uh, that's it. That's me done. I might have something in the pipeline, but I'm not going to, you know, um, count my chickens before the hatch and all that. Because I know my luck, it, it won't happen. Um, but I'm just praying that the guy comes back and says yes. So, you'll find out that maybe next week sometime. If it, if it, if it comes off. If it comes off. Um, so, yeah. Go to replay. Sign up, let's all meet up. Um, you know, I know there's a few people. I'm, I'm just trying to get the ball rolling a little bit so everyone's aware of it. Because I know some people probably don't realise. I know there's a lot of people going to Revival in um, Wolverhampton. Uh, yeah, I, I, was, I was thinking about going to that because I know Into Ghost House, Into Ghost Adam, <clears throat> he was on about it uh, a while back actually. And I looked at it and I thought, I thought, well, should I ask the wife for fucking, fucking two passes out? <laughs> don't know if that's going to happen. <laughs> so I thought, no, I'll stick to I'll stick to Manchester for the minute, and um, yeah. But anyone who's going to that into to revival, you know, stay safe. I think it's next month, April, May. I think it's in May. Um, but yeah, I'm definitely going to replay. I know there's a few of the chaps that have sort of said that they're going, so it will be really good to meet up you guys. Uh, other than that, take it easy and uh, I'll speak to you soon, YouTube. Bye-bye.